frictional forces. In this lab, you will be measuring the coefficient of static and kinetic friction of one of these felt-covered wood blocks. In the first part of the lab, you will be pulling on a force sensor while the block is also being launched by a motion detector, both of these going to Logger Pro. Pulling as straight as possible, you will slowly increase your force until it just starts to move, at which point you will try to maintain a constant velocity of motion. By comparing the tension at the moment that it just starts to move, we can get the coefficient of static friction, and looking at the force necessary to maintain constant velocity, we can get the coefficient of kinetic friction. You will then repeat this exercise with additional weights on the block. In the second part of this lab, instead of applying a direct force onto the block, we will instead be changing the angle of the block. As we increase the angle of the block using this lab jack, we will eventually reach some critical angle where the force of gravity pulling down the track is enough to overcome static friction. Two very important things that you need to keep in mind while doing this part of the lab. The first, as you should remember, is that static friction is much greater than kinetic friction, which means that if this starts to move at all, it can continue to move at an, even though we are not at the critical angle. So if you're jostling your track or hitting your table, it's quite possible that you will get an angle that is much smaller than you hope for. The second thing to keep in mind is that although we try to take care of our tracks, sometimes the tracks can be a little bit uneven. There could be a scratch here, or someone could have touched the track after they ate a jelly sandwich. So depending on where you start on the track, you might get different angles. If those angles are noticeably different, you can just take a clean hand and gently run your hand down the track and you will immediately feel those spots that are a bit different and just try to avoid those spots when you're taking your measurements. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. Here's this lab's fun fact. There are no theoretical ways to predict the coefficient of friction. All values are purely empirical.